Hey, what's up guys, Fury TV here, and we are back with another episode of Poker Hands. Today, we are going to be taking a look over some of the best bluffs we have come across. Let us know which was the best one in the comments below. Before getting into it, I would like to ask you guys to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our videos, as your support is allowing us to continue posting videos on a daily basis. Your RFID boss. Jack 10, 9 off flop here, Taylor with bottom pair. Anthony with middle pair. It's yeah, again it's interesting to see that Taylor's gonna be limping things like King Nine here, this deep. Blind versus blind. Unfortunately gets a flop out of ten six. And now he all part of his plan. <laughs> all a part of the plan. Turn the straight. Goes check check. I don't think we're gonna see Anthony. Putting any more chips into the middle of the spot. I think uh, Taylor has plenty of eights, kings, jack nines. Okay, quite a big hit. 45 million. It would be interesting if uh, Anthony decided to do that. <laughs> I was just going to wow. say. Wow. No. No? What? You can't have ace game? We either got the same hand or you got the best hand. Or I have the best hand? It's a weird table talk. It's definitely leveling Taylor, though. Oh my Lays goodness, I love it. Yeah, I think uh, that was probably it's bad also bad. interesting, too, because a lot of... Let me see if it shows or not. I said that might, it's probably bad for old Nesson. You'll see it. I mean, I think uh, Taylor... I don't know if you're going to let what you see, but... What, <laughs> yeah. what yeah. I like, what I like I about the... Put out the chips for the cool, so pretty big pot forming here. Chip leader on chip leader action. Wow, All right. King, eight, three, two clubs, we've Martin had, with flush draw. We've Bruno. had some nice flops. We're in a strong ace high and backdoor flush draw. Backdoor raw flush draw. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was so expected. I guess this is one of the hands Marty's going to want to bet, right? Six high flush draw. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Twelve point eight in the pot. Looks like he's going six point seven. So a little over Bruno's half. got a peel one. Cool the flop. Deuce of hearts on the gives turn. All right, Marty what picks a up a gutter. spicy turn. Two flush draws gives Marty a gutter. These boards have been a lot of fun. Now, if Marty bets here, this could develop into a really, really key pot on this final table. Yeah, yeah. If he bets, it's going to be big. He may just try and see a river. I... Yeah, he's I like it. I, I feel yeah, like you yeah, just yeah. got a bet here, right? Yeah. Like you say, you pulled all good big. And we won't be seeing a fold, that's for sure. Shade under 21 million is the bet. Yeah, this would be silly, pretty sick if Bruno could uh, whip out a raise here. Yeah. His hands are kind of too good, though. Right. You do, of course, beat all yeah, the bluffs. that. Stare down. But what, I mean, if he, if he were to raise here, what's, what does Martin do with... I mean, what hands does he get in? What did he say? Well, I think he was just confirming okay. the bet size. Okay. All right. So here we go. 68 million chip this pot. Need a player with a pair. We have two <laughs> flush draws on board. Let's see a river, James. <laughs> what happened? Let's, let's, let's have the three of spades. Come on, let's see what happens on a brick. Wow, Nine of diamonds. A brick. There is the brick. <laughs> wow. Bruno checks. Marty looks at the river finally, and that's a horrible feeling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and you see a, yeah. 
A red card. Oh, he's, he's okay. double checked. We should balance the double check on our cards. He's even doing this with strong hands up to now. It's like, what have I got myself into here? Yeah. All in. Wow! Whoa! All right. Oh my Marty god. Marty rips it in. One what a time boss. Spot. <laughs> <laughs> that sigh right there. That sigh's amazing. That's Bruno's, poker. Bruno's smart. I don't even know what he thinks Marty's been like, kind of joking around there. But wow. So sick. I wanted to see the brick. We got a brick and we got a jam. Yes. We. It was, uh, that is fun. You're sitting there on this final table. You're thinking, how have I got a 70 million chip pot? Suddenly I'm jamming my with stack six in against high. the chip leader. With <laughs> Good for Damien there to snap call with the Ace King. He's he's coming around. Wow, Jeff, as this pot starts to develop here at our table, uh -huh. let me, I need to tell you about something that happened at an outer table. Oh, please do. Defending champion Marty Mathis. Mm -hmm just eliminated two opponents in one hand. Wow. From the big blind, Marty defended with pocket force. Flop, king 4-4. Four, four. Oh, that's decent, I would two say, Two players for are all in in front of him, both opponents having ace-king. Double elimination, Marty Mathis what is our beauty. shift leader up to 8.8 .8 wow. million. We gotta get him over here to the feature. We, what a story developing. Wow. And not just the defending champion, but just finished in second place in the 25K Super High Roller. South America is the ah. place to be if your name is Marty Mathis. Almost nine million in chips. Ah, papi. <coughs> Hola, viejito. Eh... You know, uh, just uh, 225 uh, bigs yeah, or so, yeah, not yeah, really yeah. a big deal. And that really yeah, now, yeah. all of a sudden, I'm thinking about yeah. the size of the stack you mentioned that Daniel Rezai bueno, bueno, has. Yeah, 19 an online million. qualifier. Yeah. 19 million. Yeah. 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 That, that I I assume has got to be favor, chip lead for esa, tomorrow. Me haga las gestiones. Clearly yeah. at the moment. Ah, perfecto, perfecto. It'll be close. Bueno, in in gracias, similar papi. structure Salve events like Millions UK, I think the chip leader day three had around 25 or so. Yeah. Bit smaller field here, though, so maybe it'll be at around the 20 mark as Gaspar. Check raised the turn. Yeah, wow, this is... Dimitri made the call. Eight of hearts on the river, 750K in the pot. Pretty thin check raising the turn when a deuce rolls off. You do have all the deuces, I suppose, from the big blind. Could he have been semi-bluffing with a flush draw in that spot? Seems a little thin. We know Gaspar is going to give it a lot of thought. Nothing but queen high on the river. As he continue to tell a story, saying, I've got trips. Did I river a flush? All in. He's all, all in. All of it. 2x pot shove. Putting Urbanovic to the test. <coughs> Can Dimitri find the call? If he can, he'll double up. <coughs> Max aggression from Gaspar. This is strong. Bottomich thinking exactly what I just talked about. It's a flush or it's a deuce, and it's going to work. He's down the king. Huge well played, bluff. Gaspar. Wow. 
There's the Queen of Hearts. Yeah, he wanted so he'll to see feel that okay card. with that. Yeah. Queen 10. Oh. <laughs> 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 Scott raising the button. This time Danny's turn to three button again. Not a fan of the sizing. Gotta go bigger here with 60 yeah, bigs deep. It's 40, yeah. Just another 25 million for Scott to call with an ace. But we've seen time and time again from Scott, and by that I mean going back to. 10 plus years ago, he likes to do his bet in pre flop. This time he does make the call. I'm not going to make the mistake he made against Romeo. Jack 10 10. Danny flopping a gut shot straight draw. Scott's ace high still out in front. Danny's going to have a little concern about that flop texture. But given any three bit pre flop, this feels like a pretty mandatory C bet. Well, if Scott thought he could be light pre, then he has to take at least one more off it. Wait a minute. Scott's going for the doesn't make any sense raise. Makes it 60 mil. And he should get the job done, but maybe Danny can sniff it out. Like, why would he raise me on this flop? If he has a 10, surely he just calls and lets me keep betting. There's a jack, I don't think he's going to raise. This just doesn't make sense. Maybe Danny will call. He does. Well worked out from Danny. And now really hard for Scott to do anything. Out of nowhere we have a 200 million chip pot. These two hands. Ace on the turn. Bing for Scott. Danny picks up a double gut shot now. King gives him Broadway. And well, he has a range advantage here. All in. He just moves all in. What is this hand? Wow, says Scott. I think Scott's going to call this. It just... Why the hell would Danny do this? I mean, both of these guys have played this hand so bizarrely. There's just... This just makes no sense. Why did Scott raise the flop? Doesn't make any sense. Why does Danny now jam one and a half times pot on the turn when it comes an ace? Would he ever do this with a hand better than an ace? Almost certainly not. But then, what are his bluffs? Just doesn't make sense. This is a bizarre hand. And partly down to the late hour of the night. These guys have been playing for 14 hours. Perhaps we're getting a little frazzled. I think Scott's going to call this. just it just doesn't make any sense maybe he'll probably put Danny's bluffs as something like straight draws that now picked up flush draws
This is a truly bizarre hand. You're not going to see many crazier than this. This is this is proper 2006 poker right here. Scott burning through those time chips. Wow, well he lays it down, kind of surprised, <laughs> I mean the whole hand surprised me, but I don't know what he thinks Danny had there. And then that's call, let's see, three. Flops an open ender, oh. Roberto flops the nut flush draw. Frederick's aces are best at the moment. Everybody happy. Everybody intrigued by this flop. Some action. Yeah, and Frederick sorting, letting it soak in. We suspect Roberto should have some Broadway sort of holdings on the button. Obviously, we can see he has the nut flush draw, and that Luigi likely to have hit this flop as well. It's exactly what's happened here. Decision time again for Luigi. Almost a million in the middle, and he has 1.2 behind. If we shove, do we suspect we're getting called? Likely, right? What do we give Roberto credit for? Do we know a queen is going to look us up? Frederick did continue in this pot. Have to be a little bit wary about him. I like this. Just call. Try and make our hand on the turn. More than 1.1 million in the middle. Blank on the turn, four of hearts. Yeah, and that is obviously clean for Frederick. I would be undeterred in this spot, never worried about Luigi having me beat, and trying to get max value from Roberto, and of course denying equity from all of those draws. We need to put the pedal to the metal here, and let's bet something healthy upwards of 800,000. Six hundred seventy five K is the bet on the turn. And Roberto now still getting a pretty good price. Implied odds after putting in an additional six seventy five. Being better than four to one. Oh my goodness. Wow, Roberto rips it in. Oh, this is absolutely bananas. Uh, this looks like potentially a set. Would he do that with two tens? Very likely now with the presence of another flush draw. This is really twisted stuff by Roberto. My goodness. They're just calling on the flop. The Party Poker Team Pro rips it in there on the turn. With the ace five of spades. Max pressure put on Frederick Anderson. This is really disgusting stuff. And we have the ace of hearts in our hand. We can eliminate that sort of combo. So what is it? Could he settle on maybe King Jack of Hearts? Was it just the spade flush draw initially? Or would he play a flop set just like this? Has some time extension cards. We expect he'll be using some. There's one. Stare down from the Swede. Can he find the call? 
Just trying to pick up any bit of tell or nervousness. Something uncomfortable about Roberto, and he is just poised. Brutal spot. Another time extension used, another 30 seconds to act. He's going to try and find some more stuff that he can beat. How about Queen X of Spades? Certainly have to consider mm -hmm. that holding. Question is, would he ever just move it in? Big gulp there. Another time extension. Does the shove look even stronger considering he still had Luigi to act? I don't really think you're worried about Luigi. He only had 900 and some thousand left. But could that look stronger to Frederick? Now maybe. Okay. I, I, I just, I don't think so. We, we already knew that it didn't matter, right? You have a monster, you almost would want to call again. I think that's the last of it as yeah. far as his time extension cards go. So the, the final 30 seconds left to act. If he does not act, his hand will be declared dead, which will be just fine for that man, Roberto Romanello. Putting Frederick to the test. There are just so many hands he could have here that would be draws. I mean, think about it. Five, six of spades, what do you do with that? Five, six, three, two. Countdown is on. Wow. And there is the laydown. What do I have? Do you want to see it? You can see it? Or you can wait 30 minutes. I want to play. He wants to Good. see. Eight, nine, half. He will see the ace five of spades. Wow, sick and twisted bluff there by Roberto Romanello. About that. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like, drop a comment, and don't forget to subscribe for the best poker videos on YouTube. Make sure to also check out our previous video if you missed it, and let us know in the comments below what you would like to see on the next Fury TV.